Welcome guys to another YouTube exclusive workout. Today, we are gonna be doing an intermediate level strength and mobility quick workout on the reformer. So uh, I have my foot bar up and I'm using a Marathu reformer and with this reformer, I've got one heavy and one light spring. So you're gonna need to adjust your resistance accordingly. The first thing we're gonna do is an up stretch, which gives you some mobility as well as some strength work. So for this one, I'm gonna have my hands on the foot bar, hug it, and then I bring my feet against the shoulder rest here in what's called the high half toe position. So uh, it's kind of standing on your tiptoes with your heels against the uh, shoulder rest. And then I'm gonna flex my spine and just get it out of my shoulders here, head down. From here, I push the carriage out with my legs, trying to keep the spine rounded until I can't any longer. And then I lengthen my spine from tail to head and I'm back here in this long stretch position. Then I hinge forward over the bar and come back. Let's do that again. I'm gonna inhale to push the carriage out and then lengthen my spine from tail to head. I exhale to hinge forward and then flex back over my legs. Weight goes back in the legs, shoulders stay relaxed, elbows not locked. Press the carriage out, lengthen the spine, hinge forward and come back. Let's do it one more time. Press the carriage out, lengthen the spine, hinge forward and then shift back over the legs. From here, I'm gonna keep the resistance the same and I'm just gonna straighten my spine and lower my knees, putting my weight back in my legs. And from here, I'm gonna do the knee stretch. Press out and come in for 10. Exhale, pull it in nine, eight. Keep the body still. Exhale as you pull it in. And let's do five more and four and three, two, and one, then slowly lower the knees down and I'm gonna go into my down stretch now. So I'm gonna sit back toward my heels and I'm gonna round my spine. From here, I start this one by lengthening my spine first, then pushing the carriage out and finding this bow shape with the body extended position and then hinge forward at the shoulders for one, exhale, two, and exhale, three, and then drive the carriage back in. Let's do that again. Lengthen the spine and then extend the legs and then hinge forward in that bow shape for one. Exhale as you come forward, two and three. Now push back and then draw the legs back underneath. Again, lengthen the spine, push the carriage out. Exhale up, send the chest toward the ceiling and one more, press back and curl back in. Let's do it one more time. Lengthen back, push back and hinge one and exhale up two and three Woo. and then come all the way in. Again, we're gonna come up on and I'm gonna keep the resistance the same and I'm gonna go into a uh, front split here. So my back foot is gonna go against the shoulder rest. My front foot, I'm gonna be on the ball of my foot on the foot bar. You want your feet to be as wide as your sit bones, so you're parallel. From here, let's hold on first. And if you're new to this and don't have a spotter to help you right now, just keep your hands on the foot bar like so. You're gonna exhale back and inhale forward. Then when you find the balance and have a spotter to help you, you're gonna raise your torso up, press back and come in. And again, press away and come in. So this is balance, flexibility and strength. And two more, press and in and one more time, press. Keep your hands where you can see them and then reach down and we're gonna switch to the other side. I always use the heavy spring on the side I'm standing on to help the carriage move smoothly. Front foot on the foot bar, back foot against the shoulder rest. Let's hang on here and push out with your feet, not your arms. And again, press and come in. And then if you have that balance, come on up, push back and come back in. Exhale away, inhale to come back in. And again, press 
and come in two more times. Really push through that back foot to keep that back leg strong. And one more time, press and return. One side's always a little better than the other. And then come down. Let's go to just one heavy. And we're gonna do another kind of mobility exercise that feels really good. It's called mermaid with rotation. So it's kind of a side bend with rotation. So I'm gonna reach an arm up, I press out. When I'm about halfway out, I rotate toward the bar and take a hand on either side of the bar. Then I bend my elbows and press for three. Exhale as you press, two. Now on the last one, I hold my arms long and then I just lift my chest and get that really good extension in rotation. Press back out, put your hand back to the center, turn and come up. Let's just give it a little stretch over to the other side, lifting up and over and come back. So breathe in here. Exhale to push out and then turn and round your spine. Inhale, bend the elbows and exhale, press for three and two. You should feel a nice stretch in the lats on this side, one and then lift up the sternum, extend the spine, press back out, flexing the spine, turn back to the side, come on up and lower down. Let's reach up and over to the other side. Ooh, feels good, right? Let's do one more. Breathe in and exhale over and rotate. Then when the elbows bend, you're gonna angle them down. Make sure your head is down too. And three. Lift the chest, draw down on that bar with your hands to help you open up the front of the chest and the front of the shoulders, press back. Slide your hand to the center and come on all the way up. And let's stretch to the other side and back. Now we're just gonna flip over. So we balance ourselves out here doing that facing the other way. So same thing, bring the arm up first. Now start to press out, rotate, flex the spine, bend and stretch the elbows for three and two, shoulders relaxed, and one. Now the arms stay straight, I kind of press down on that bar and lift up the chest to bring the carriage back in. Press back out, slide your hand back, turn to the side first and come up. Reach the other arm, take a big breath in, and then exhale over, and back. Let's do it again, reach up, press out and rotate, and now bend and stretch, and two. Stay curved and now draw the arms and shoulders back and lift and then press back out, turn to the side and come up. Let's reach up and over to the other side. Now guys, and one more. So we're gonna reach up and press over and rotate and then you're gonna bend and stretch the elbows for three and two and one and then lift the chest and come in, shoulders back press back out, turn back to the side, lift up and lower down, and then let's reach the arms up, stretch over, come up, and back. All right, now let's add, uh, we'll go to three heavy springs, but you can go anywhere from two to three heavy springs, and then we're gonna leave the headrest down, and we're gonna do one more mobility exercise here. So come down onto your back on the carriage, and put your heels on the footbar, arms resting down by your side, from here, you're gonna roll the spine up until you're in this bridge position, and then exhale, push the carriage out. Your hips will lower as you press the carriage out. Then lift up and bring the carriage in, and then roll down. So we're gonna exhale to articulate up. Breathe in and stay. Exhale, push out, and you wanna create this one long line from your heels to the top of the rib cage. Then, Come back in, the hips go up, and then roll back down. Let's do it again. Exhale up, inhale, stay, push back, come back in, and then roll down. We'll do this one more time. And guys, if you're liking this workout, hit the like button and subscribe to us. And press out, come back in, and then roll down with control. And guys, that does it for our Reformer Intermediate Level Mobility and Strength Workout. We have hundreds of longer workouts of all intensities on johngarytv.com. I hope you'll join me there, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye, everybody.